Hey guys, what's going on? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for GeForce Now in March 2021. This guide is the second part of the previous guide, so if you haven't watched it already, I request you to watch the previous guide and then watch this one. Simply click on the i button or go to the link in the description below. Also, if you are new around here, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Help me reach 20,000 subscribers as soon as possible, guys. I seriously love you all. Keep supporting and let's begin with this video in this video we're gonna be covering latency fix enabling 5g and PC server selection and fixing irregular stutters and blurs First up, I'm gonna be talking about latency fix. You can fix your latency by using optimal servers near you. By this what I mean, I've already made a guide on selecting servers. There will be a link in the description below or you can click on the i button on the top right section of your screen to go watch this video. That video is evergreen video, you can watch it anytime and pick the best server you want. Then we have some external settings possible with some applications. For fixing latency, must thing that you need is an Ethernet cable connection. Then I'll show you an application called NetLimiter 4. NetLimiter 4 is an application which allows you to limit your network or give some rules to specific application bound your internet and get better results. So first of all what you have to do is open up GeForce Now, just over here and then what you have to do is find geforce now now whenever you open up the game you have to select the running game over here and then on this section the rules over here just what you have to do is put on priority to high setting your priority to high will make your application more perform more better in terms of internet in terms of the priority of the other applications using your internet in the background it will limit that and it will put more internet efforts to geforce now that's how it works next up i'm gonna be telling about how to enable 5g on your pc specifically for geforce now now enabling 5g works only with the uh, wireless method so what you have to do is go to your device manager now if you don't know what it is it is basically you can find it in your control panel i'm just gonna be searching for device manager and i got this now over here what you have to do is go to device manager and then select your um so for me it is uh, this one um but this is my ethernet but you guys will have a wireless adapter for here i don't have any wireless adapter but i'll tell you what you have to do right click on it and go to properties and then go to advanced now here guys you'll find something called five gigahertz or the rate uh, internet rate all you have to do is just enable that and make it to 5g if you already have a 5g internet connection that is connected via ethernet your computer will automatically detect that your connection is 5g or 2.4g depending upon the cable connection that you use next up i'm going to be explaining how to select best server now this depends upon the time of you are playing if you want to get low ping if you want to get low queue line so i'll tell you one simple rule of geforce now so here is the one simple rule of geforce now at a moment you can either get less number of queue or you can get less number of ping by that what i mean is if you want to get your games quickly you have to sacrifice your ping if you want to get good ping you have to sacrifice your time depends upon you so for selecting server if you want to play um like just right now just find the countries that are in the morning right now so by that what i mean is you have to google the current timing of uh, the countries near you now if you even don't get that I'll tell you what you have to do. Alright, open up your browser and search for countries in the morning now. You'll open the world clock and just see which country or which city are in the morning right now. So you can see the yellow ones are morning or evening. 
you have to find the one in the morning so as you guys can see amsterdam right now is in the morning it's 7 57 a.m so what i can do is i can open geforce now and over there i'll search for uh the eu servers the eu southeastern servers which will be present in the amsterdam and then i'm going to be switching my custom to competitive no matter wherever you switch for play for getting less Q, just make sure that you put it on competitive because competitive is the king of uh, long distance last but not the least i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix irregular stutter and blur now this comes to the internal settings that i have shown you in the previous video also it depends upon closing each and every application that you are using in the background suppose you're playing geforce now and you don't need uh the streamlabs obs geforce now notepad or anything else running in the background you can just turn your background running applications off then I'm going to be suggesting you guys use Memreduct. Now this is an application uh, that you can find. Now once you open Memreduct, all you have to do is just hit clean memory and it will just ask you a permission and that it will just clean 1.13 GB of the running memory in the background. So that will help increasing the speed of your computer overall. Next up is timer resolution. This is one of the must have application if you are playing cloud gaming. So as you guys can see, um, you have to open this application and click on maximum and it will reduce the current resolution. Next up is press windows and R together and go to percentage temp percentage. Open the application, open the folder and control A everything and hit delete. Now once you delete each and everything you have to continue for the administrative permissions and it will ask you to skip some files now these are the files that are currently being used by some applications so you can't close this so just do this and just hit skip for everything and these are these are the files that are you being used by your computer at the moment other than that each and every temporary files need to be you know completely removed from the computer Next up is reinstalling GeForce Now using a VPN. For some reason, if you are getting uh, lags and stutter, all you can do is just re-download using an American or an European VPN and run your GeForce Now and test it if it is fixed or not. And also, you have to run a antivirus. Now by that what I mean is you have to go and you have to go for a system scan and let your computer scan for some viruses, scan for some issues um, that your computer might be facing. So these are all the techniques that I have shown you to fix your um, GeForce Now and increase the performance. So that's all for today. I hope you liked it. If you do then make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also guys help me reach 20 get subscribers as soon as possible. It encourages me to make more of these videos. See you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.